to a few tournaments now and we haven't won any of them so in case this is the last event uh, we're just going to try and enjoy it as much as we can and hopefully that includes lifting the trophy but I guess we'll see. Next question goes to Sara. You guys face Optic in both Masters and now Loud is on the same group. What are the benefits to always facing... Can I have to pass the question? Okay. What do you think is the most dangerous? It's very hard to tell on this tournament. Every team have some ups and downs. To be honest, I'm more afraid of not going out of groups than winning a tournament. Then Otto, okay. Otto, you need to progress to break it. I'm going to check out the court. I'm hearing things like, "Oh, you got fourth, and then you got second. Surely you're going to get the champions next, right?" I've heard that a few times, and I don't think that's the case. I just want to say that like there hasn't been a region that has won a consecutive tournament. Uh, you should be watching out for every, any region, all the teams here. It's a bit tough to be honest, especially before a tournament. Obviously it's going to impact our normal life and we're going to have less time, but that's what we love and I mean, that's the most important in our lives right now, I think. Thank you. Uh, next question comes from... <laughs> I don't think there was enough time to really reinvent ourselves from the last event. Ben, Ben, where are you? Just take the mic. Maybe we are going to be a bit more readable by our opponents this time around. But we are as prepared as we can be. Berlin, last year. It's been a long road. It's been a whole year. But it feels like a decade. Hi. Are you changing or doing makeup? No, I need this for my costume later. I can't wait to see it. I'm pretty introverted, and before VCT, I wasn't really happy with the way that my character was. I felt that I could bring a lot more joy to the people around me. Well, we got you covered, always. I just didn't want to be in that shell anymore, so I just started pushing out of that zone. That was going to be my goal. After coming that close to winning the entire thing, it's definitely put a hunger that I've never really felt before. Yes, you did, you did. But at the same time, I don't want to manifest those expectations into changing the mood of the team. <laughs> Which is to have fun. I think that's what makes Paper X special. Here for a good time, not for a long time. <laughs> I think that this is one of the most exciting tournaments just based on the strength of each group. We have 16 teams here. They're going to go through a group stage and then a playoffs. It is going to be absolutely chaotic. If there's one team I'm excited to watch here on the stage with an audience, it's loud. I mean, they came out looking like this Brazilian super squad. But now at international events, we've seen them falter. The question now is, was that a one-off blip? Tô longe, mas também não tô perto de ser o melhor líder é, que eu possa ser no momento. Então, eu tenho que aprender com meus erros. Então, eu acho que essa Champions para mim é um momento que sabe para dar a volta por cima. And now they get a chance to rewrite that story. The next chapter is Champions, and it's the one that matters. Can we go in? Yeah, we're good to go. Let me get you a scan. You should use the hand warmers. No, bro, it's not very hot. Yeah, because you have to break it. You have to break it. Like really? a lot. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know. <laughs> Alfia, he's a really nice, genuine lad. He's got really nice qualities as a teammate. 
sure for, for the Turkish fans, it's going to be so exciting to have one of their own here on the stage once they get into this arena. That can also be a little overwhelming at times, so hopefully he's able to stay focused on it. It's going to be great to see. With Copenhagen, people weren't quite ready to deal with all the expectations they had based on their performance in the league. This time, we should know how to manage the expectations of ourselves. There's no problems there with like what's going on in people's heads, and we can just focus on the game. We're going to go out, we're going to go and play to win, and I think we just need to release some energy now. Yes, sir. <laughs> I can't hear you. Yes, sir! Okay. How do you say go yeah, on so Turkish? Let's Turkish. go on Turkish. Okay. Good Good clutch of the tournament now placed into a 1v3 turn two. One of the players desperately low. The Nightfall's going to give away his position. Down to just one. Enziano, I think that's through the box. Another successful round for Furia, despite Stacks racking up kill after kill. I would almost call this an impossible comeback for DRX. There is a long road to recovery ahead. <laughs> Nothing they can really do about that. Khalil is left alone, shut down, and DRX find five. Hey, what's up, bro? Nice. Nice. An opportunity for DRX to get back in here. A four versus two. The jump peak. What is going on? Let's go. <laughs> running out of time, and NCR, so many players still to find. He needs an utter miracle, and there is no hope. They are going to be closing this one out. There is nothing he can do. DRX from 12-4 down. They make that comeback happen. Loud versus Optic. This is the rivalry. Don't they know each other well? Sassy's still standing, but this has been systematic destruction from Optic. Thank you, Life. Running sight. Going elbow on. And Ye just playing the clock. He's making him work for this meal. Classic. Three, yep. two, one. GG. You got me! in the playoffs and brush loud aside. Freaking divided, I cannot believe what we have just seen. The Viatin literally giving a reality check. The final straw for FBX is here and now and Bladestorm misconfirms it. I don't think anyone out there predicted this for XM. How are we doing? Yeah. Not good, but it's fine. It's too late for me, you know? Too late. I feel tired. Next time I need to wake up at 6 p.m. To be a professional gamer, when you're young, it's pretty easy. When you're getting older, you need to somehow find a ways to still be like 100% focused on the job you're doing because everyone around me is competing to be the best in the world. Every game is a real. 16 teams came to Turkey with the dream of winning the championship. And after today, only half of them will remain. I will really like the, I, I just want to show you first. I told uh, to my team that this tournament is going to be like twice harder than the Copenhagen Masters. It's a lot of pressure here on the hook and B. Every team know exactly how you play, so you need to switch a lot. I expect them to just like abuse tunnel, abuse A more yeah. than before, because it's going to be very hard. Right now, all eyes on us. It feels like it's way too soon to start saying goodbye to the teams, but somebody's got to go. Side select Paper X. Go attack, Paper X. Fanatic, you have first ban. We ban Breeze. And 100 Thieves ban. We ban Icebox. Loud, you're banned. Ban Pro. Map select. Big Bang. Essence. Best luck, guys. Crow alive in a 1v3, and he just oh. can't do it. Zeta's hearts broke but Loud roar their way through the game. First team of Brazil yeah. getting out of the group stage. I'm not gonna lie. We kind of feel like we might bomb out in groups just because of how much time all these other teams have had. At the same time, I do want to win the championship because we came so close and I almost know what it felt like. I don't want to manifest those expectations into changing the mood of the team. 
you just eating great and everyone just coming together. Mm. I don't know why they just eat it. It's over, it's over. It's not blood, you just wait. It's okay, bro. It's good though, you guys played so well actually. Yeah. Just a bit unlucky. Stop tanking. Yeah, it's okay. You got very well. Oh, yeah. I'm a pro, I'm confident. I'm a pro. Bro, what is this round? Bankai's got no weapon. And it's a 1v2. Liquid again! Hold Paper X back! No defenses around, nothing to be seen. Last player stand. And now Jin's position spotted, given away. A 5v1 to keep your tournament life aligned, to keep the year alive. But nothing is found. Paper Rex, fall, liquid, advance. And that is a heartbreaker to say. I mean, fourth in Reykjavik, second in Copenhagen. Yep. Every second place team ends up crumbling in the next event. We didn't have as much fun as uh, we normally do have as a team. But even though we didn't really get the result that we wanted here at Champions, I think we should still be very proud of ourselves. of the playoffs. We've started with 16 teams and the competition has been cut to eight. We have a whole live audience here today. This is the first day ever that we have an audience. It's so much fun to watch these playoff games finally start. The same one. With the same Dude, I suck at untangling yes. things. Do you want to help me out? I'm... <laughs> <laughs> My skill set includes Valorant, but uh, not much else. <laughs> but that's all right. Somehow. I would say I have a really positive relationship with John. He's always been one of my favorite teammates to play with. I really respect the guy. So <laughs> first playoff game, uh, tournament for us. Pretty excited. We haven't played this team before. It's gonna be an exciting game. It's gonna be intense. It's hard for me to honestly know what's emotionally going on with him. He doesn't really demonstrate fear. What I'm feeling when I enter that champ stage would definitely be a little bit of anxiousness, Dude. combined with some intensity, because for us, it's definitely a redemption story. We had champs last year, and we didn't do as well as we wanted to do. Oh. Nice try, nice try, nice try, nice try. The thing I'm afraid of most is folding under that pressure. It's just one of those things where, you know, you're hoping that you don't choke. Sometimes he gets a little wild, but I love seeing him get like excited. When calls need to be made, he makes them, you know? <laughs> Vic has him, Vic has him. He's stunned. He's not on, not on, not on! Nice! Optic win this one with back-to-back 13-8. Sem medo pra gente significa muita coisa, sabe? Acho que pra cada jogador da Loud. Latam dominates Brazil internationally. This is a regional rivalry that goes beyond just Valorant. E eu acho que significa uma das principais coisas assim é que a gente entra no servidor realmente sem medo de errar. But Sassy again, being the miracle worker for Loud in OT. Sassy has been an absolute maniac. A triple swing, sticking it, sticking it, sticking it. Unless you're gonna be kidding me. Linda, linda, boa, boa. Nice. Então, quando a gente realmente grita o sem medo, eu acho que todos os jogadores da nossa equipe em conjunto pensa isso. It's all down to these players. You have to find the crossfire. You have to find the shots, and they're crumbling. But a 1v3, it's nigh impossible. And Loud, determined to try and break that curse, determined to say, we are the best in South America. Let's make sure we're breathing now, because it will calm the adrenaline, all right? So just do your breathing all the way now until we get on the stage, and then we'll be chilling. We're here, we're in front of a Turkish crowd, the first and only player that's going to be playing really in front of a home crowd here. 
This crowd was going crazy for the prior match. They're going to be going even crazier, I think, for this one. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's probably going to be for Alfie across the board. History being made. It's the first time we have a player in their hometown playing in front of a crowd. The biggest downfall for a professional player is their mentality. We are all set for the second playoff match of the day. I'm expecting an absolute brawl. Oh, that's right, bro. Alfia, I remember his first trial. He actually wasn't doing that well. He was like 0 7. And I remember pausing the game and being like, Alfia, it doesn't matter. Like, we already know how good you are. This is just to see what you're like as a person and whatnot. And then after that, he ended up like top fragging. That, nice! Good job, guys. Let's fucking go on, Monaco. You ready? Let's go. Alpha, an up shot buzzing right by his head. And Fnatic find an opening. Nice! Let's go, guys. You need to do this. More hype. Fnatic had a chance to really claw at this round, but now it's just left. Two versus three to save the game. Mystic has gotten into a 1v1. Eric's flash just bam, just there. 41 HP! And Aaron answers the call for it. Say yet again. 13 to 8 as they take down Fnatic on Pearls. For this game, we're warmed up, we're used to the crowd. The crowd's there now, who gives a f Now we're here to win and show that we're champions, okay boys? We know what we're doing now, so let's get it. Let's have some fun and let's go and win. Find a throat now, let's Find go. Find a throat. Find a throat. Wait, did I get to <laughs> I think Exit could look like a bit of a scary team as our heading into Fracture itself. The Shorty and the Stinger find what they need. But Alfier has gotten behind enemy lines. He slipped the net and he's Still healthy. Players here. He's so Second? healthy. Second? What happened? That man right there was Alfier who took over. Nice! Close to As a Oh, for fuck's sake. He's close. Left. I need to buy a fucking shotgun in me. They you... walled him off in tower. They walled him off. Exit with a great idea here. Fnatic. They Look don't... at the flank death. Oh my goodness. Oh no! Erka, Boaster, and Enzo to try to no. take us to overtime, and Boaster falls. Holding the line, he gets on to second. Death on the swing! Haters hushed! No. Doubters damned! Exit advance! Fearless is someone who don't afraid of losing. You need to be ready for losing, you need to learn losing properly. So, I think if you know how to handle losses, you can be fearless. I just buy this to five minutes ago. You buy cheap lighters. <laughs> DRX versus FPX, it is the last chance for Asia, the last hope with that team. The last hope for the Asian region. This has got to be it, right? I mean, it's FPX they face off in the first round here. They have to start strong in the first round of the playoffs. <laughs> there are a lot of fears in every player. When you're coming to a stage, you're obviously afraid to play bad. You're afraid of calling bad as AGL, right? You're afraid of doing mistakes. Stacks! Does he dare do it? One's already down on side. The second comes right! It's a first one, HP! The 1v1! Oh, but Stacks is 30! Hard goes up! He's looking for him anywhere he can, and the dance begins! The Stacks oh goes! My God. And Stacks goes huge! <laughs> They're gonna play the same, they're still on both maps, like super slow, holding, and then just hitting like four plus one, you know? Fearless is a lot of people who are playing a lot of people who are playing a lot of people who are playing a lot of right? You're gonna clear Marco and Zest, right? The underhand flash, Marco eats it, but just sprays it. He's still fine, he's still standing! And now it's just to get to! And it's from Tears in the Rain to Singing in the Rain, DRX! Carry on forward! If I don't have any trouble, then I'm afraid of that person. I'm afraid of that person. Let's talk about 
our matchup today of Liquid versus Fnatic. It's time to cannibalize the region. <laughs> it opens up the door for other regions. They don't have any idea about Poster. From Icons to Bygons, Team Liquid are going home. But yeah, if we're arriving on a good bus with like a TV, always look. Yeah, we need like a shitty bus. We need the shittiest white one with the worst seats. Ah! <laughs> white bus! We're winning today! Versal's on the flank! And Versal's on the flank! Now it Versal shows up, but is it too late? Zipin wins it out! FPX wave goodbye to Leviathan as they send them home! Is the danger zone? It's down to Crashies and Marvs. Can they do the heroics? Can they make the big play? A stick on the spike, there needs to be a play, but it's being watched for. Scott Free gets away with it. Optic are making their way through that upper bracket. There's a lot of pressure riding right now on DRX. They are the pride of APAC, the pride of Asia. Loud as well, right? They are sure. the last standing team of the LATAM region. At least two teams that haven't really faced off against each other. Flower are able to close it with three quick kills. And for the second time, they will be going to the upper finals versus a North American team. Here's FBX and Exit. This is a rematch. We've seen this before. And now it's a 2v2 for Angel and Deadpan! Send them home for the second time! DRX now, they're down again in the lower bracket. There's a chance where they could fall flat to that 5-6 curse again if they lose against Fnatic. This game has convinced me curses are real. It might still strike. You got Fnatic on the upswing. They're going to be riding the Hopium for sure. Of course, the energy of the crowd cheering for them. This is a chance for both these teams to break their expectations. Yeah, the emotions, this is what both of these teams, I think, ride off of. Yeah, I was like a player in Turkey. Türkiye'de herkes korkusuz. I think we need to be champions because I'm a Turkish and we are in the Turkey. <laughs> the star for DRX has already fallen. Buzz no longer around RB2. Mako's timing does not align. But it's actually Alfier who puts DRX away and gives Fnatic a 1-0 lead. I hope this goes on the screen. The poster da bunlar var. Konuşma stili falan insanları rahatlatıyor. İyi bir liderde olması gereken bunlar. Fearless for me is like when you're faced with something you're scared of. I will do something that others won't. Booster. Now is a run, a flick from Booster. Nice. Although there are some times where I hesitate because if you start doubting yourself, the enemies are going to take you by surprise. Stax is no one with him. Stax is the loneliest player on the server. And he's got it down to a 1v1. There's no freaking way. They just overheated so hard. Alpha here. Out on market. Alpha has the ult. Stax on the swing. The timing gorgeous. You right? You look flustered that game. We are so much better. You looked a bit like every every time we lost you know, a certain yeah. round, you just look. Like, <gasps> that happens. Close. It happens. It's fine, all right. You're not gonna lose clutches this game, though, are you? We're going on first side. <laughs> no, you're gonna first entry. That's what's gonna happen. Big game. Alfia, I know that he's gonna be kind of thinking about those clutches lost. I remember looking at him to my left and I could see his 17-year-old emotions coming out, that kind of flusteredness, that expressing himself with his kind of hands and his head. And perhaps RB can find more success with the ult and he does. Sass has gotten one, two, RB with the both. And now Alfier, who's got nothing but a classic, comes up dry. And it's so fitting that it's just Alfier who's alive and Alfier's gotten two. As possible. Can Alfier do this? Oh, he's gotten into a 1v1. He's gonna threaten the res again. The flash there ends up. Alfier holding it. Stacks on the swing. Alfier falls, but it's still a 1v1. Can Mystic do it? 87 HP. No! The Red Bull clutch for DRX in the face of history. They write a new future. They advance.
So I think he's going to feel like he let the Turkish community down. You're going to lose a couple of times in front of an audience that like you. But the reality is sometimes the best leaders and sometimes the best players don't win trophies. There has to be only one winner. Eu acho que imortalidade depende de como as pessoas veem, né? Pra mim, eu acho que espiritualmente a gente vai estar aqui sim. É, que eu acho que nós somos energia. Quero ser um grande jogador de Valorant. Ainda quero ser reconhecido é, como um, uma grande, um grande nome dentro do cenário brasileiro. É, uma grande referência. left on to Pancada. The shot connected eventually, and I think the time is gone. Loud are gonna take themselves by. I think that was something that most, including myself, thought was an impossibility. We're gonna be 3 one one a lot, the, the whole house. You hold every round, this is so fun. Yeah. Yeah. They give us long B, they give us showers, yeah, they give us there's, everything. There's four rounds we can I don't think immortality in the game of Valorant is achievable because there are so many moving parts, there are so many good teams out there. To just be as consistent as, you know, even we've been is a very, very difficult thing to do. Two versus three, only the man underneath now remain with Pancada finding one and Sassy tripling up in the round. We will end up at nine to three. Eu quero levar o Brasil pro topo. Foi quase, né? Eu acho que a gente levou lá, mas não conquistou ainda. E, sinceramente, Eu acho que a gente consegue. Oh, a that has probably put Optic to bed here. Crashes and it's left onto him to try and clutch this out. But Aspas has had enough. Holy shit. Loud dominate Optic to make their way through to the final. I remember you saying that. Dude, why, am I doing something wrong? I don't get. Am I doing something wrong there? The smoke faded on me when I tried to flash through. They're yeah, literally yeah, playing they're perfect, perfect Valor. Yeah. Oh, Welcome to our lower bracket semifinals between DRX and Fun Plus. Phoenix is up next. We just saw Optic and Loud, obviously Loud, absolute decimation. These guys just seem to be fated to meet much like Optic and Loud. Welcome back Hi to everyone. the desk, Benkai. It's uh, my third time on the desk. I just want to talk about the win conditions for DRX. On day nine, DRX sent FPX to the lower bracket, and now they meet here again, except it is elimination time. Ooh. This is a scary place to be in. Yeah, and it is the second rematch. We saw uh, DRX win the first time, FPX win the second in Copenhagen. FPX, they're competing with Optic for for, you know, first team for two international titles, DRX. They have broken their fifth, sixth place curse. All of my hopes and dreams lie on their shoulders right now. <laughs> it's all on them to do what I could not in Copenhagen. A 3v2 here, Sugetu and Chow trying to hold the line. Can Buzz 1v2, no! I never thought about my legacy, and I don't think it's something which I define. I just want to do my job as best. I want to enjoy what I'm doing. So I'm doing things which I like. And it depends on the result. Will there be a legacy or not? That is not something that happens to FPX. No. Yeah, I'm going to go to the legend of the 
음, 음, 잠을 자지 않고 두 시간 정도만 자고 연습을 계속 해야 될것 같아요. 제가 준비한 걸 얼마나 긴장 안 하고 보여준다고 생각할 것 같고 대회 하는 중에 조금 이제. Oh my God! Spuds gets another. It's all there. All hail King Spuds. Long may he reign. s u g e t u and Shao in this 2v3. The challenge is there. They're going to swing right into it. They both fall. DRX has done it. They usurp the throne. Take down FPX and advance. And DRX has set them up. Top three now for the Koreans. I would like people to remember me as a cool guy who worked hard and to win some tournaments. I just want to live like an um, enjoyable life. And uh, Valorant and esports in general is something which makes me happy. I don't want to like anti too hard into this because I feel like we should just play regular. Okay. We are down to our top three. Optic and DRX will face off to determine which team is going to take on Loud for the trophy. DRX have a great opportunity, Seth, to put Korean Valorant on the map. No matter who goes through, it's going to be a fantastic final. We have a chance for a team to win a second tournament. That's right. That's never happened before. I'd say my legacy is pretty much being able to place as high as I possibly can and have consistently doing it at the highest level for basically the last two years. You're both there? No, uh, no. I'll pop for you. Fake, it's fake. Not in. Enemy nice. We don't know what's going on. Hookah, last guy. You saw him? Yes, yep. yes, yes. Smoking hookah, smoking hookah in a set. So Ow, he jumped out of him. Ow, ow, ow, ow, ow, ow, ow, ow, ow, ow, ow, ow, ow, ow, ow, ow, I'd definitely like to be remembered as the best in-game leader that North America has ever seen. And for my teammates, I'd like to be remembered as not only a good in-game leader, but a better person. Jake, listen, I sit tower with a stun. Jake plays long B, Jimmy holds short. I'm gonna stun them when they're running in, and then hopefully we kill Neil. Yeah. From the side of the wall, Optic! Every avenue, every line of sight is just locked down! And Breeze, well, it wasn't their map pick, but these guys, they are feeling it! 뭘 잘못 따지던 지금 이해가 안 되는 거야. 봐봐. 상대가 총총이었잖아. 그래 세이프 했잖아요. 그렇지? 응. 아니지. 세이프가 아니었는데 세이프를 했지. 아니 총 짧, 짧, 짧잖아요. 존나 짧잖아요. 나 짧잖아. 그때 그때 우리가 미드 운영을 하고. 아니, 근데 그냥 스크림 때는 계속 그렇게 했어 근데. 그리고 에이. 와, 야 오락실 지나갔어. 오빠 오락 이제. 그래, 야 오락실 쓸게 해줘 빨리. 야 잡아야 돼 저거. 나가줘 나가줘 나가줘 나가줘 나가줘. 야나 공이 있어. 야 스파이크더라 스파이크더라. 그냥 어떻게 보면 이제 다시 돌아오지 않는 뭔가 과거의 흔적들이라고 해야 되나 그런 거를 그런 걸 만들기 위해서 한다고 저는 생각을 해요. Fury scatters his way across, updrafting, avoiding it narrowly in the coverage once more. DRX's defense has just looked so good here. The 1v5. As soon as the wall goes down, DRX will not be denied the map five. Every single event will make a difference in my legacy because at the end of the day, there's only so few events. And if I'm going to be known as one of the best, we're going to have to win. I'm getting it, Jake. Yeah, go, go, go. Heaven, heaven. Jumping out, heaven. Well, first of all, it's very difficult. 
그것 때문에 조금 더 아깝다는 느낌이 들고 아직까지는 아니라고 생각을 하고 그래도 저희가 지금 한국에서 한국에서 이제 그 작은 나라에서 세계대회에서 3위라는 평정을 거뒀으니까 이 지금부터 조금 더 레거시를 펼칠 수 있는 기회가 되는 것 같아요. Maybe you don't make the cut, right? Maybe you fall between you know, the cracks and the name gets lost. And that's terrifying. I imagine a year's worth of, of love and, and hard work and, and countless hours put in something. And then within one game, maybe two, it, it's all gone. How do you do that as an individual? How do you make sure, no matter what, no matter what you're doing, no matter how stressed you are, no matter how bad, you know, frustrated you are with your teammates, how maybe you aren't gelling today, maybe you didn't sleep well, maybe you've got a really bad opponent who's damn good against you. They don't have tomorrow, they have now. And then there's only now. And then there's next year where you don't know where you're going. So these guys are, are certainly um, put into ridiculously hard scenarios to try and work. For me, it's not the winning the titles. It's not the winning the events. It's the leaving a mark in people's minds. So that's what legacy is to me. This is the, uh, the golden carpet. Whoa, whoa. All the losers are here, because all the winners are actually on stage right now. That's what's happening. <laughs> For Optic, Cloud on defense, Icebox final map, Optic on attack. Okay. All right, good. Yeah. Best of luck, guys. Pleasure, boys. Yeah, good luck, good luck, good luck. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Rivalries, as super rare as they are, how did it look coming to this? Optic had the upper hand throughout the vast majority of the times they'd met. It kind of gave birth to what we knew of Optic is they don't lose twice. Loud finally responded, and they looked incredibly good. You know, they looked possessed. That looked like it was business. So where do we take it then? Because that's why I like this rivalry, that there genuinely is this back and forth, it's a chess game between these two. You know, you have great IGLs on either side, you have some of the most talented players on either side. Bad blood, it's not anything like that. It's, it is purely just good Valorant. It's been a lot for me, for Les. He taught me things from the game. Outside of the game, he also helped me. Between Les and Saucy, they have no idea. Like if he was my father or my professor. And to win the champion, it would be a historic for Brazil. Yeah, okay, dude. It's a big pace change here. Sadak gets ahead of it, does get revealed by the knife, though. Victor's down. And, and thank God it's just standing in the open, door, taking the door, fight. Door. A loud take the round, 15 to 13. Yeah, we just have to get over this. If it's going to be in our head the whole time, we're just not going to win. We lost too many 1v1s. Yeah, yeah, we lost a 4v2. We're choking these rounds, bro. It's yeah, fine. choke now as opposed to fucking map three. Yeah. If we win this one, the next one, it's fine. For me, I try not to look at like the results of like tournaments. The only thing I really care about is like as long as we continue to grow and get better. I think that's all that matters. But I guess what it would mean is solidify us as maybe the best team of all time if we're able to pull it off. Behind him, he's got another. And now the one man in the old, that is it, Les, to try and turn the tides. And he's been found, F for Les has him. Holy shit, you're insane. Optic have actually got us to finals now. One apiece, the best of five is back on. Wait, o Alas, eu tô aqui morrendo no Hulk, cara. Eu sabia que o cara tava avançando no meio, mano.
Então, a gente tem que entrar no, na brisa, mano, jogando nosso game, é. entendendo o porquê quando a gente perde round, mano. Só que, tipo assim, a gente tá muito desatento, cara. Tá muito desatento, velho. Por quê? Porque a gente tá pensando no que os caras vão fazer? Tipo, Isso, agora tensiona toda a musculatura do seu braço, o short pro nariz. Confiança, sinergia que você tá e solta bem devagarzinho, relaxando toda a musculatura. Pode abrir os olhos, beleza? Galera, agora que eu atitude nessa vai, brisa, vai, desde o início, cara. Se medinho, se medinho, vai. Se medinho, se medinho, se medinho. Bora, cara. Bora aí, com atitude, família. Bora, espinha. Bora, bora, bora, bora, bora, bora, bora, bora, bora, bora, bora. Foi a questão mais da influência positiva uh, dentro de cada jogador. Eu acho que tava faltando um pouco mais de positividade na minha parte, porque eu não tava percebendo que principalmente Aspas e Les, eles eram influenciados por isso. E eu acho que eles dependem muito da minha emoção, do meu reconhecimento por eles também. Então, ver eles jogando juntos assim durante a série foi muito, muito legal, acho que picante, de uma certa forma. We'll take you all first, or we can do our triple smoke. And who are the players doing that? Uh, Austin and Vic, at least, minimum. Vic and Austin have to be yeah. in U Haul. Yeah, Vic, before we take backside. Yeah, before at I minimum, climb. yeah. Unless okay. we do triple smokes in the Okay, and then what? Austin just sky flashes out backside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With your triple molly. With my triple molly. Yeah, yeah. So that way they can't talk. We always learn something about ourselves at these events, but one thing I've learned about this team, this event, is we never, ever, ever give up. As coisas mais impactantes que a gente fez, não falando dentro de jogo, o fato da gente se abrir mais pro outro. Então, quando a gente fala sem medo, acho que dá pra ficar sem medo, tipo, em relação a, não, a, em relação a ser sincero com os outros, com você mesmo. We are one round away. It's now or it's never. It's do or it's die. And it's a double stack towards Sua. Pagan Carter already ripping the head off of Ye's shoulders. Oh, yes, they do! Pagan Carter! And it's all building towards this A site. The last man standing at finesse. And after so much time, so many years of heartbreak at the hands of Optic. Loud beat them in the best possible way. Absolutely incredible performance from Loud today. I've learned not to be too hard on myself. I used to have weeks after tournaments where I would just be sad and upset, and I think this the way this game is, it's just sometimes things are gonna not go your way, and it's kind of upsetting for me as well to let my team down like that, but I'm grateful for my teammates. If I didn't have even one player on this team, I would not be where I am right now. I wouldn't be the leader that I am, I wouldn't be the player that I am. Cara, acho que meu pai agora deve estar passando um filme na cabeça dele, e acho que ele nunca imaginou que eu ia Tá ganhando um mundial dessa vez. It's funny because after Reykjavik, indeed, when we lost, we talked about it and said, okay, it's part of the process, the first international tournament. And then we came back to Brazil, and then one of the owners from Loud, Bruno, <laughs> who was like, oh, aren't you guys sad for losing the grand finals? I said, no, no, Bruno, it's part of the process. We are going to win champions. <laughs> and, so, and then here we are. I mean, so good. This year has been an absolute roller coaster, from highs and lows to finally getting to see it kind of find its footing. It's just been kind of falling in love with Valorant, with the audience, with the crew, with the fans, with the players, and kind of learning as we go. 
I think it's been more than fulfilling. It's been very life changing for me, and we were able to show that this is like a very viable option to have as a career. And I only hope that other Singaporeans can follow in my suit, not just gameplay wise, but character hopefully. Because I think this is like a good outlook to have also, not just being serious all the time. And next year, who knows what it looks like, but I think Time Capsule is the perfect summary of what this is. It can exist within time and it should be something that we look back on and we remember it. You don't know, you're walking into the unknown and I think that's the scariest part for these players. I have no idea how many tournaments I have left in me. There is a possibility of never lifting your trophy. All I know is that this was my dream when I was younger and I'm not gonna give up but I'll find a way, you know. I'll find another interest and that will be my trophy instead. I don't know, this might be my last year, if I'm being completely honest. This year took a lot out of me individually. I still have love for the game. I still have love for competing. It's just, it's a lot of stress. There's a lot of pain when you lose events. Yeah, it might be my last. If you are still that passionate, if you're still that driven, if you still live in that server, if you put in the hours that everyone else does, those hours feel like nothing when you love it, but if you don't love it, they will be incredibly heavy. There is an age where that may change. If they love the game, if they still want to play it, if they're still competitive, they will still be as good as they are now. How many more years I have left in me? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, to be honest, I never think about it. I think a few more years is completely fine. As long as my team is competitive and I see that there is no one else who can do the job I'm doing better, I will stay. I hope that we get to tell the stories right, and I hope that they have the impact they deserve. There will be that transitionary time where it will be the newer players come in, and there will never be the full exchange. Right, it'll be the first few who came in who are already a little bit, let's say, more experienced. They'll eventually either go to coaching, managing. They get to bring them up and give that structure and the younger generation looks to them. It's not like the old guard will just vanish. Their theories, their structure, their knowledge, their experience is just so valuable. There's still gonna be that, that necessity for both for a long time. I hope that there's more acceptance in the world for esports, for Valorant, for players that put everything, every ounce of what they have into this game because it's just like any other sport, just not physical. And there's a lot of reward to doing what we do. So, I hope after you've watched this, maybe I got you guys inspired by my history. It's been a long journey. And finally I got an international title. So, take serious. Really, it's not, that's just a, a hobby, you know, it's an e-sports. So yeah, I'm an athlete, not a player. <laughs>